Uh, bye, Andre. <laughs> okay, that was that was strange. All right, yeah, something something's going on funny with this, but uh, okay, yeah. Andre's uh, Andre's on. He's he, uh, okay. Anyway, but uh, let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the redneck thing here. We got our our uh, Texas buddy there. Mm. Got, got me wanting to do be a little uh, redneck. My boy named Sue. Yeah. Got... Okay, I'll show. My daddy left home when I was three. He didn't leave much for my mother and me, but there's an old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. <coughs> I don't much blame him that he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he went and named me Sue. He must have thought it quite a joke, got a lot of laughs from a lot of folks, and it seems I had to fight my whole life through. Some guy would giggle and I'd turn red and some guy would laugh and I'd bust his head. I tell ya, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. So I grew up fast and I grew up mean. My fist got hard and my wits got keen and I'd roam from town to town to hide my shame. And I made a vow to the moon and stars that I'd search the honky tonks and bars and kill the man that gave me that awful name. It was Gatlinburg in mid-July, and I had just hit town, and my throat was dry. I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. In an old saloon on a street of mud, there at the table, dealing stud, was the dirty mangy dog that named me Sue. I knew that snake was my own sweet dad by a worn out picture that my mother had. I could tell by the scar on his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old and I looked at him and my blood run cold and I said, My name is Sue. How do you do? Now you're gonna die. Then I hit him hard, right between the eyes, and he went down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife, cut off a piece of my ear. So I busted a chair right across his teeth, then we fell through the door out into the street, kicking and a-gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. I tell you I must have fought tougher men, but I really can't remember when. He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. I'm gonna need more time if you wanna hear what happened to Sue. I saw him laugh and I saw him curse. Then he went for his gun, but I got mine first. And I saw him look at me and smile. He said, son, the world is rough and if a man's gonna make it, he's gotta be tough. And I knew I wouldn't be there to help you along. So I gave it that name 